Hey Sunny family, what's up? Welcome back. I'm your Sunny trainer, Sydney, and today I have a quick little introduction video for you guys to an under desk elliptical. So today I have the SFE3872 with me here, but no matter what under desk elliptical you have, this is a great tutorial just to show you how to use it, proper form when you're on it, and then we'll get into a little beginner workout just so that you can see how to use your machine and get some ideas. All right, so we're gonna start off first with a little warm up. So we're gonna stand right in front of the sofa here and we're just gonna do some body weight squats. So nice and easy, gentle as you come down on that sofa and squeeze those glutes on the way up. If you can't do full body weight squats today, just come as far as you can out of that chair that you're sitting in. So maybe you can just come here, whatever works for you. Let's do a few more. Last one. All right, we're gonna sit down on that sofa and just kind of stretch out our body here. So we're gonna start out with some head rolls, nice and gentle. Really taking your time to get all of those kinks out. Let's switch and go the other way. Everything worked out. Let's do some arm circles going forward. Don't forget to breathe and let's bring it back. Nice, just opening up all of those muscles. We wanna make sure that our body is nice and warm. Let's do some shoulder circles. Just a few forward. One more and let's take it back. And a little side stretch, so up and over the top, stretching out those obliques, getting that back a little love. Nice. One more on each side. Good. All right, we're gonna take our elliptical and bring it close. It's pretty light, but definitely make sure that you have good posture when you're picking up that elliptical. We're gonna set it up right in front of us and continue our warm up on our elliptical. So you wanna make sure wherever it is that you place your machine, that you can keep your heels and your entire foot on that foot plate the entire time. We're also gonna focus on engaging our core and keeping a nice and upright posture. So even if you do want to recline on the sofa, we're focused on a good posture with a tight core. Or you can sit it right here, nice and upright. Once again, still focused on good posture. So either way, and remember, foot stays planted on that foot plate the entire time. That's gonna take some pressure off of your ankle as well as your knees. Okay, so this right here, we're in a nice and good position. We're going to continue our warm up on our machine. So make sure that you're in a comfortable position and take that pace however you want it, okay? So we have eight levels of resistance on our machine. We're just going to start with one and a resistance of one or two is a really good place for a warm up or maybe your rest in between an interval workout, which we'll get into in a few minutes. Or maybe if you're just starting out and you're a beginner, Resistance of one or two might feel really good for you even during, you know, maybe some harder intervals or endurance work. So really your workout and your resistance and your pace should be whatever you need it to be. Remember that every workout is your workout. So whatever pace and whatever resistance is right for you and your fitness level, that's for you to decide. So always make sure that you're listening to your body and doing exactly what it needs. Nice and easy, keep breathing. Now, in a few seconds, we're going to get into some interval work. I wanna introduce you guys to a way that you can use your elliptical at home. And this is a great way that you can work out and push your cardio a little bit, right? So when we're on our machine, you know, maybe one of your favorite ways to use your under desk elliptical is going to be either when you're working or maybe when you're watching TV. 
Those kind of workouts on your machine might be a little more mindless, just getting some light cardio in. But if you wanna get in a harder workout, you definitely can do that on your mini elliptical, all right? So I'm gonna show you some intervals today and you can repeat this workout whenever you want. It's a great one to have in your arsenal, all right? So we're gonna get started with a 30 second interval in about 15 seconds here. So choose the resistance that works best for you. Usually with resistance when it comes to intervals, I would suggest, you know, picking a resistance that's challenging for you. And we're going to be challenging our pace as well. So take that into consideration. Whichever resistance that you wanna to choose today, that's gonna to be the right one for you. So I'm gonna put mine up to a resistance of four. And we're gonna get started. Ready in three, two, one. Let's get started. 30 seconds, pushing the pace. All right, with these intervals, we wanna get our heart rate up. So we're working a little bit harder than we were at that slow, steady pace. Now with an interval, you're always gonna get time to work hard, as well as some time to rest. So we're almost to our first rest in five seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, now time for our rest. 30 seconds to recover. You have the option to rest completely and not cycle at all. Or you can just go light and easy. Resistance comes all the way back down to one. This is time to recover. So we're focused on our breathing and letting that body relax. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna get into our next 30 second interval. Ready, three, two, and one. Let's go. Push that pace, whatever that pace is for you today. You might be faster than me, you might be slower than me. Whatever feels right. Push yourself exactly where you are. Ten more seconds. Come on guys, keep it going. You've got this. In three, two, and one. All right. Back down to a resistance of one, nice and easy. We're relaxing here. For our next interval, we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit more and increase the time to 45 seconds. So 45 seconds of hard work, and then we'll take a 45 second rest. Nice deep breaths. Ready in three, two, one, let's go. Pick up that pace. 45 seconds as fast as you can today. Now remember to keep those feet firmly planted on those pedals. If you're having a hard time keeping them on the pedals, you might need to slow down your pace a little bit. Whatever it is that you need to do, we wanna focus on good form and using our machine properly first before we add on speed. Great job. Five more seconds. In three, two, and one. All right, back down to one. Light and easy on that recovery. Nice slow pace. Good. Now in between intervals, Always think about your breathing, right? If we can control our breathing, then we can control our workout. So, nice big breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Recovering that oxygen in between those hard intervals is going to help you get through and put in better work during your intervals. All right, in five seconds, we're gonna take our next interval. We're going to go up to a one minute work interval. Ready? Let's go. Resistance comes up to whatever it is you're doing today. And pace comes up too. One whole minute. Come on, you can do it. This is our hardest interval of the day. After this, we're gonna work our way back down to 45 seconds and 30 seconds. Stay on that pace. We're halfway through.
Almost there, 15 more seconds. Keep pushing. All the way through. In three, two, and one. Okay, back down to one we go. And we are going to relax for one whole minute. Now these intervals are such a great thing to add to your routine because they're really going to help build up your speed and as well as your strength and endurance. So if you're looking to put in longer sessions on your under desk elliptical, maybe build up that endurance and work up to those harder workouts, intervals are great for that because they're going to challenge your cardiovascular system, they're going to challenge your legs, and they're really going to make you stronger and better. So I highly recommend implementing these in your regular routine. You won't regret it. All right, we have five seconds and a 45 second interval coming up. Ready? Let's do it. Put on that resistance, whatever you're using today. And let's bump up that speed. Now, if you can go faster than you were on our first few intervals, maybe you've got the hang of it. Pick up that pace. Keep it up. You've got 15 seconds left. You're almost there. Keep breathing. All the way through. You've got it. In three, two, and one. All right. Take that resistance off. Let's relax. We have 45 seconds of recovery. Two more intervals to go, each 30 seconds long. You guys have made it through the hard part of this beginner workout. And I'm so proud, you're doing an awesome job. We're already almost done with our workout and then we'll head into a little cool down and you'll be done for the day. Ten more seconds. 30 second interval on the way. Ready, in three, two, and one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Halfway, 15 more seconds to go. Keep pushing those legs. Come on, you've got this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. 30 seconds of rest. And we'll do our last interval of the day. Nice deep breaths. Let's get prepared for that last interval. Let's make it a good one. Ready. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Push that pace wherever you're at today, wherever your fitness level is. Push yourself right where you are. Let's make this last interval a good one. Ten more seconds. hard as you can. Get it all out in three, two, and one. All right, awesome. Let's take that resistance down, down to a one or a two. We're gonna take a nice and easy pace on our elliptical. Nice and gentle. We are cooling down now. So whatever pace you want to take, that is up to you. I will let you decide. Something nice and easy, and we're working on recovering our breathing, letting our cardiovascular system slow down. Giving our body time to recover 
back to normal before we head out into our day. All right, slowly bring that on to a stop. We're gonna finish off with a few quick stretches here. So, hamstring stretch. You're gonna come to the edge of your chair. One leg comes straight out. We're gonna lengthen that leg. And we're gonna bend forward from those hips, straight back as far as you can to reach towards that toe. If you can't touch your toe, that's totally okay. You can reach for your ankle or maybe your knee. Nice, and let's make sure that that back is nice and straight. All right, you're gonna feel that stretch in your hamstring all the more. Good, all right, let's bring it to the other side. Reach forward as far as you can. Nice, all right, big reach up to the sky. Nice big reach, big exhale, one more. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this workout and you learned something about using your under desk elliptical at home. We'll see you guys next time.